Hi guys, welcome to back to the Lanation channel. Uh, I'm making this uh, video to show you how to get uh, the Android uh, x86 installed on the VirtualBox as uh, our testing emulator. So um, for the Eclipse, obviously. So what we're going to do now? We're going to try to get uh, our Eclipse install uh, every application that we are building on Eclipse and test it here. So what we're going to do, we first, we need to connect uh, to connect Eclipse with uh, the virtual machine. Uh, the first thing before we move on uh, and, or power on our machine, we're going to first uh, check the, uh, or enable the adapter, a uh, second adapter, because that adapter, we're going to use it for, uh, um, <coughs> Uh, the communication with Eclipse. So we're going to select the uh, VM and then we're going to click on settings. So after clicking on settings, you, you should have this window and then on this window you go on networks. And on networks you're going to see a list of adapters you see here. The first one, uh, we, we will leave this one for the browsing the internet, but we're going to create another one to, uh, or enable another one to have it, uh, to have our virtual machine connected to uh, Eclipse. So we're going to click on enable network adapter and then we're going to click on the drop down list and then on the drop that down list what we're going to do we're going to uh, click on host only adapter so we're going to choose that as an option then uh, we're going to click OK to uh, to save the changes then we're going to start our uh, <coughs> virtual machine so we're going to click on start so as you see, the virtual machine starting on this uh, list, uh, we're going to choose the second option because you have to be fast here. And then we're going to click OK on the option given by the bootloader. So I will click Enter. Then uh, we should uh, see under it starting. As you can see, this starts very fast. It's, it's already loaded. So let's uh, unlock it. So after unlocking so what we're going to do we're going to get on the on the uh, what's called uh, uh, command mode so we can check the, the connection you know the connectivity and get the IP address that we're gonna co uh, um, use to communicate uh, with Eclipse or Eclipse will use to communicate with our virtual machine so we're going to on the keyboard on your on your uh, notebook or your desktop keyboard, please press uh, Alt and F1 at the same time. You should see uh, this screen. So on the screen, please tap, type net, net CFG. So it's N-E-T CFG. So you press enter. You should see this. So what you're interested is where it says uh, at uh, eth1 okay it says down and the ip address is 0.0.0, .0 so it means there is no ip address and then the eth0 it's up with that 10.0.2.15 uh, and remember i showed you two uh, two adapter one was already um, uh, enabled and i say that one was for internet browsing as you can see it's the one we see here is this one the the eth0 so uh we're going to need to connect this one the eth1 so what we're going to do now we uh the first thing we're going to do is to type n e t like net cfg and then we put space and then we type eth1 and then we put a space and then we put we write down d o w n and then we press enter after doing that, uh, we're going to type again N-E-T-C-F-G uh, like before and then we type E-T-H-1 like before and then we put a space and then we write D-H-C-P. So N-E-T-C-F-G space E T H one space D H C P and then we press enter again and we should get an error as you see there. So we're going to uh, do this following command. We're going to type N E T S F G and then we put space and then we type E T H one. So this is what we want to put up so that we uh, 
um, Eclipse you uh, connect with uh, this virtual machine. We're going to put a space there and then we're going to write up like UP like this. Uh, we're going to press enter. As you can see, there was no problem. So we can uh, just double check if there is an IP assigned to the uh, ETH uh, one uh, adapter. So we're going to uh, to type NETCFG and then uh, press enter without any argument on it. So we press enter. As you can see here, the ET1 is up this time because before it was down and then it has an IP address of 192.168.56.101. Please uh, write that IP address down. So we're going to use that IP address. Uh, Eclipse will use this IP address to communicate with uh, our virtual machine. Uh, they usually communicate on the port 5555, but we, we're not going to need to specify that uh, as it's going to know by itself. So uh, what we're going to do now, uh, we can uh, go to our machine, our local machine and launch the command prompt. So I've already launched mine. So what, you, what I will ask you to do is to navigate where you've installed your your your, uh, your your uh, your Android. My Android was installed on the local disk C and uh, Android Android Dev. Uh, so the folder is called Android SDK window. So in the Android SDK Windows folder, you should have a folder called Platform Dash Tools. So on that uh, platform uh, uh, Platform Dash Tools, uh, you will tap the following command. Uh, if you cannot see properly, please uh, maximize this video because I'm making it on H, uh, HD. So you're going to be able to see exactly what I'm doing or else check on the description uh, of this video to find uh, the, co the specific command. So what you're going to type is going to be uh, A, B, D, and then you put space. Then you type connect, C-O-N-N-E-C-T, and then you put space. And remember, we need, this will be, uh, this is the side of our Eclipse. We need it to communicate with the virtual machine. Then it means we need to take this uh, IP down, uh, this IP on the 81, uh, the IP of the virtual machine. So we know the IP is 192.168.56.101. Dot 101 as you can see there so we're gonna press enter as you can see we have a message connected to 192.168.56.101 at the port uh, 5555 as i've explained to you before so it's it knows that so uh because we we made that link so what we're going to do we're just going to go to eclipse and try to get our application uh, run on, the, on, on on Android. Let me go back to my Android and then try to get back to the uh, graphic user interface mode. Uh, what you do, you go back to your Android, uh, the virtual machine, and then you have to press uh, Alt F7. So if you press Alt F F7, you, you're going to go to the back to the uh, graphic user interface. So uh, remember it's Alt and F7 at the same time. So let's go back uh, and launch our Eclipse. So let me just push it a little bit there. So we're going to run our launch Eclipse. So as you can see, Eclipse running there. Then we're going to get it up. <coughs> then uh, after getting it up, what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, like we wrote, I've already write, wrote my application, so there is no uh, much to do. But I just want you to do to, rem to remember something. The, the, my virtual machine is running an Android 2.2, so it means it's on the API level 8. So if you, if you wrote any application uh, higher than the level 8, I will show you what to do to not get uh, the warning or the problem or to get an error to not be able to run because you can get an error that says you cannot run because the on the you specify that it's on it the minimum api level is on whatever side so let's say i want to run this uh, uh, application that i called hello list view so what i'm going to do uh, if i know that i had an api level 
higher than eight or if you get any error message what i will ask you to do is to go to your money first you have to do two things the first thing you go to your manifest uh, android manifest file you open it as you see there make sure that it says android man uh, the name of your manifest file dot xml to see the xml then in there make sure where it says android min sdk version if you have that put it to eight or something lower than eight like let's say if it was nine there get it down to to eight like 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 you done like i've done here so uh, after writing eight there uh what you're going to do next is to to go to uh I'm uh, sorry about that. I just have a, a problem with my, my voice today. Uh, you're going to go back to your project, the project you want to run. You can right click on the project again, and then you go to the property. So the last option on your on your project. Then you're going to have this. Uh, when getting to this window properties, uh, property for your project, you're going to go to the Android tab, as you can see there. So you go to the Android tab. Uh, after clicking to the Android, on the Android tab, you're going to get the, the options of the API that uh, you need to uh, to change, for instance. So, in our case, as you remember, you usually do this at the beginning, but we at the beginning when you start creating a project. But here, as you can see, mine is on 8 because I had it on 8. But if you have it on, on 9 or something uh, higher, then just uh, change uh, that and tick something with, like... Is, Either you can have it in Android 2.2 or I have mine on Google API but as you can see here the platform is 2.2 and it's 8 uh, the API level so you click on OK so after that you should be okay with uh, not getting the warning or to get that error message then uh, you're going to go back to your project and try and run your project like usually I'm gonna do it from here I right click run as and then run uh, as android application so i will click on that so you're gonna have this uh, window so if you don't have this prompt window i will show you after running the application what you can do to to, to get to this so you're gonna have this and then i just have that as um, selected so it's something that i need uh, i need to use so i will click ok so what it's gonna do is gonna start installing it on my virtual machine. As you can see, it already ran my application because this is what's supposed to come. And it's so fast that it even ran before I even like had time to come back here. So as you can see here, uh, I let me I can click click on escape to go back because on when you are on the virtual machine, if you click on it, this is a program that I wrote to just test the, 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 the views. Uh, I click on escape, I'll go back to the previous uh, a task so I'm, I'm back on the day on my android desktop so as you can see here this is my hello view icon so that's the icon that you, you, you uh, was by default of my application so as you can see my application is installed so you can do the same procedure to uh, test the other application that you are uh, running on eclipse and i am guarantee you it is much 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 faster than the emulator but they they are uh, 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 they are problem with it as well but uh, just for those who, who, who want to experiment with this and then but the other fixes we can talk about it on the other videos so uh, i will mi minimize uh, this uh, this uh, uh, window to show you uh, as i mentioned earlier on if you don't get the option to that is connecting you directly or to get this uh, uh, your application to run on the emulator uh, what you can do you can uh, go to the run configuration so if you go for instance you go to you you select your project you right click and you go back to run and then you go to run configuration uh, you you can for instance select your application hello view and then go to target so if you go there if you have some uh if you see uh, if there's an emulator that is ticked on your project to say that that was the default just uh untick it you know untick it and uh, maybe you can get it back to to manual or just leave it there selected and automatic as you see but you have it unticked as you see there 
and then when you're gonna click it should be asking you uh, what which emulator you want to use or you can yeah as you can have it on manual and um, Eclipse will ask you which emulator then you can specify that you need you want it to to uh, run on the virtual machine I will click close because I don't need to run anything at the moment and I will say goodbye here and this was the way to get your Eclipse uh, run um, your application on the virtual machine that was uh, Delanation. I will say goodbye and see you on my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.